What's up, y'all? So we are back in Houston, this time looking at um, new homes. We are in, uh, I don't know, the development we are in has like a model home park. So it's like a ton of homes that we're gonna walk around and see. I just had to make sure it wasn't 4K. So we're gonna walk around and see all of these. And uh, yeah, ask some questions and write some questions down. I got my notebook. Little baby sleep, we're gonna cover him up and hopefully he stays asleep as long as we keep moving. So we are in Newmark Homes and it looks really nice. So this is the front of Newmark. The garage will be on this side, the office on this side, the laundry room right here, and then the kitchen and everything right here. And then the family room. We haven't walked around the rest of the house. We were asking questions about the standards and all those good things. So. Okay, y'all, so we looked at Perry Homes and actually fell in love with Perry Homes. Um, we looked at some houses and um, new homes, and I think that we have narrowed down what building we're going to go with if we do a new home. But basically, I want to show y'all this house real quick that we're, that, um, we're looking at now. This is the house that I have. So, um, this is the outside of the house. And when Marcus comes out, I'll go back in and just show y'all like the layout. Okay, so. Oh, okay, so we just came in the front door. The office is right here. Um, this is the garage door. These are the steps. I told y'all it's not done. This is the laundry room, which I really, really like because the wash and dryer will go here, probably to like right here. So you have, you know, a little bit of space, but then you have this wall right here where I can put like an Ikea pantry or something. A powder room, which is a good size, but not as big as what we have now, which is irritating. <laughs> um, a coat closet. This is a must. This is the dining room, but we're turning this into a wine and whiskey room. And then this is the living room along with the kitchen and a eating area for like, you know, where the table will go and things like that. I didn't open the pantry. It looks like this person has a gourmet kitchen, but I didn't open the pantry or whatever. But like, this is the layout. So, and this is the master room layout, along with the master bath and the closet. So obviously looking at this, there will be a few. I was like, let me take you upstairs, upstairs. So upstairs, this is what would be the media room. There will be a TV on this wall and then Marcus would have his couches and stuff there. This will have his game room, so like a pool table, stuff like that, more storage, which we do not have right now, another bathroom, and another bedroom, or a bedroom. And then it's, it looks over onto the living room, and then this is one bedroom, and it connects Jack and Jill style to another bedroom. Yeah. So, a few things that are must-haves on our list is, for me, a must-have is the balcony or the overlook. So you can either 
whether it's me looking over into the front door or me looking over into the living room, that is something that I've always loved, liked, whatever, and I really want in the house. Three bedrooms upstairs is a must. A media room and a game room or flex room is a must. So this technically checks all those boxes. And then um, a three car garage is a must along with um, this formal dining room area, which is also a must because we already have plans for those things. So um, I was walking in as Marcus was walking out and he said he actually liked this floor plan. So we're gonna actually chat about it more. And then, um, yeah, uh, I really want to, um, if we agree that like, hey, yeah, this is the plan that we want, we probably won't get it any, like right now, obviously, because we, there's some things that need to be sorted out, you know, <laughs> but, um, you know, I'm, I'm gonna try to still put together mood boards and plans for the rooms because we aren't trying to sacrifice the number of rooms we need and the specifics that I just told you about, the dining, the three car garage, the three bedrooms upstairs, the media, like those things are non-negotiable. If it doesn't have it, we're moving on. This house has it. Um, and we actually really, really, well, I actually like it. And he said he did. So we're going to chit chat about it and, um, just see like, you know, what we can actually like, you know, I don't know what can, what can go down. So, um, stay tuned. I'm going to try to put some mood boards together to share with you all. And I know that, um, you're probably going to be like, why are you doing anything to this old house if you plan on moving? Well, because anything we buy in the old house, we're going to take to the new house. So I'm going to be organizing the cabinets and the refrigerator at the old house. So stick around for those videos also. Thanks for watching. Bye. Maybe not bye, but bye.